guys, so what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dan French. This is Property Land by Dan French. We're here looking at properties here, and uh, we're going to take a look at Princess Diana. Diana is the uh, one of the properties. It's not Princess Diana, um, but it's Diana, right? And uh, it's easy to remember that if I said that. So this is going to be a 2,918 square foot home. You got four bedrooms, three and a half bath. Uh, this is a next gen home. So we all know this is going to be a good home to look at. This is it right here. The pavers come with it. You have the cladding, the stone in the front. You can see that right there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. The pavers come with the house. It's a two car garage, two bay, gar uh, two bay garage. And it's a pretty good size home. This is the bigger home of the three models in the Archer. So we're going to come and it, this is how you get back here. There's two ways to get into this house. Uh, you'll see what I when I show you here in a second. So you can literally go two different ways of exiting and entering the house. So let's get into this and take a look at it. Okay, so let's take a look at this and go through it together. Let's see what they have to offer here. Okay. All right, so this is the Diana. Okay, we have eight foot dual doors you can see here. Okay, so you can walk in dual pane windows big doors. We're going to go into the left side here first, which enters right into a kitchen area. You can see that you have your microwave off to the left. It's not above the stove on the last one, the Elliot. Again, this is the Diana. You're going to have ring security system uh, throughout the house. This looks like it appears to be quartz. This is what I've been told. And then if you want to upgrade, it'll upgrade to marble. So these cabinets are a little bit different, still 42 inch, but they're a little bit more slender. Now coming over here, you have your deep sink, Amera sink and Moen faucet standard. You get your undermounted sink here. And uh, this is both chrome. This one looks like more of like a steel chrome color. And coming over here, you have your refrigerator. So this is a different layout, right? A completely different layout. And over here, you have your 18 inch cabinets above. And like I said, some people like to take it all the way to the ceiling. These are not to the ceiling. You have your can lighting right there, LED lighting. Coming over here, you have a dining or a living area. And this living area is maybe 20 by 25, pretty good size. Maybe 20 by 20. It's not huge, but it's a pretty good size. This vinyl wood flooring is an option for this house and what you see in Lennar is what you get, right? What's interesting is I do a podcast and everybody always, there's a gentleman on there that always comes on to my podcast and his, he always goes off of Taco Tuesdays because my podcast is on Tuesday. So what are the odds they would have Taco Tuesday right there, right? So nine foot ceilings. Here's your first bathroom. Fiberglass shower tub combination. Two areas to sit if needed. You have your standard chrome hardware. This looks like more like a Brooklyn style enclosure. Quartz countertop, just a single undermounted sink. And you have your shaker cabinets, different style color. It's not the dark. This is more like a, uh, you know, maybe I'm colorblind, but it's almost like a grayish, light gray, almost blue tint to it. Um, so anyways, let's go on back here. Uh, Love the, the size of this bathroom. Now this is a this is a next gen home. So here you have your wall decor. Is that looks like it's yeah, it's wallpaper. So they wallpapered the back, more of an accent style. And nine foot ceilings, like I said, big windows, carpet. So it's a real nice home. I want to emphasize nine foot ceilings here. So coming over here, they won't let us into the garage. The garage, they sealed the garage uh, flooring or the floor with epoxy on the last house. So I'm assuming they did the same on this one. So here's another uh, bathroom. This is quartz and just your standard uh, chrome faucet and uh, also the undermounted sink air-friendly doors and colors. Look at this. So we're heading right into the living room. 
Here's the pantry. It's not as big as the Elliott. So this is not, I'm not a huge fan of this pantry when you compare it to something like the Elliott. Uh, also in this one, it does have an open floor plan, but it doesn't have as many areas of prep as the other house. So again, this is the bigger version of the Archer, the Archer. That's what this community is. We're looking at the Diana. You got 42 inch cabinets. Again, some people like to take these cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Don't really, uh, really care about that. The other, the other room we saw was actually the next gen style home or room. This is now the, the main room or the main house part of the kitchen. So you had your separate and that's why you have it. It's a, it's a private entrance, which is really neat where if you have a next gen home over there, you can come in and you can come in through a private way. You don't have to having a next gen home and not having to walk through the living room is actually a good thing on the main entrance of the house. So you have your, your secluded, right? You have your privacy on the other, on the other room. So this right here is a smaller Island kitchen. It's also a smaller area of prep compared to the Elliot. So this is where you lose what the Elliot had or had offered, right? So you can do the same thing. You have your micro top. Um, you can change that out if you wanted to, but you have your micro top, your five burner, you have your, your backsplash here, 42 inch cabinets, 18 inch, both above the microwave and the refrigerator bumper to bumper. You're going to have your, your warranties, GE appliances do come with the house. What you see mostly in these Lennar homes is what you get. Okay. You're still gonna have to go down to the design studio. This flooring though is only going to extend out towards the wet area. So anything beyond, let's say the kitchen area, which is going to be about right here is going to be all carpet unless you go with the upgrade. So the, the living room is real big. It's already pre wired for ceiling fans. You got your led can lighting there. Um, so one thing I want to say about this is you do have that LED light bulbs lasting 60,000 hours. Uh, they're saying that it takes up nine or uses 90% less energy by having these LED lights in here, these can lights. This is that next gen home, Diana. And uh, one other thing I want to bring up grill without a propane tank. So you have barbecue stubs, welcome full of fuel efficient. Those stubs are outside, so they're ready for hookup. And it's more of a fuel efficient style barbecue setup in the backyard. So this, this house is pre wired for a lot of things and it has some upgrades throughout. And what you see in Lennar is what you get. I love the kitchen. I love how open it is and how it connects really that open floor plan that everybody wants. It connects to the living room all the way to the kitchen. You can really entertain well with people and guests. Uh, I love the big eight foot sliders going out to the backyard. What I don't like about these new homes, which they don't let us out probably, they're just not a big backyard. You can put a pool in here. So I'm not saying you don't have enough room for that. Pavers do come with it. Patio cover on this one. There is none on here on the Diana. But uh, this landscaping, you're not going to get this landscaping. Chances are you're just going to have some pavers going out to right where that edge of the grass is. And then you're going to have to do the rest of it, mostly rocks. So what you're seeing in this house is it's completely upgraded, but you're not going to get this house. They'll sell this house eventually, but it'll be obviously when the uh, community is complete. But you look at the cabinets. I love the style cabinets. I love the color. You have your quartz countertop that is smaller. I'm going to say this is about three feet by maybe seven, about seven feet. So three by seven feet, which is not bad. You still can sit three people, but it's just not as big or as wide as the other one we saw at the Elliott. So you have your sting alarm. We said ring security system throughout the house. And, um, yeah, let's just go back. Here's your, your dining area for if you want to, you know, have dinner or families over or something going on. Nine foot ceilings, dual pane windows, right? Uh, it says stop invasions. What is this? So it says built in uh, tax pest control systems, attack bugs. Okay, so they have a built in control system for insects and pests, which I think a lot of people want, right? 
Um, so anyways, this is it. This will actually lead outside. So I want to show you what this does. So since that's the next gen area or the room over there, you know, you have this patio cover here and that leads to the other side of the house. So you lose a little bit, you get a next gen home, an extra room or an next gen room, sorry. And then you have a four bedroom, but you lose a little bit in the kitchen is what I was trying to emphasize. So the railings an upgrade, depending on what you want. Let's go up here, you got the carpet, pretty standard here. And similar, you can do a pony wall or you can do railings, whatever the builder offers. It's very small right there. And this one, you can check that option. This is a bigger loft than the Elliott. Same consistency though on nine foot ceilings, pre-wired right there for, uh, you know, ceiling fan. So I would say this is bigger probably 20 by 25 area loft. It's a pretty good size loft. So let's go over here to the right. Looks like we have the primary bedroom. So this is a 25 by 25, about 20 by 25 maybe. Maybe 15 by 20, maybe it's more 15 by 20-ish. So does not have the balcony like the Elliott. So I, I like the Elliott better, my opinion. This is just what I think. Coming over here, you have your wall decor again. It looks like wallpaper that they've put on here. It's wallpaper. And then you have your bathroom. Very consistent, what we saw at the Elliott. Your quartz countertop, dual sinks, undermounted sinks. Uh, you have drawers, the different style drawers here on this one. Um, undermounted sinks, vanity cabinets. So pretty good size. Vanity cabinets give you a place to store toiletries. So let's take a look. This is a vanity cabinet style here got the drawers so and then you have your tub and shower separation again if you're a tub person let me know i'm not a tub person that's just what i am um standard hardware right you have your chrome shower head faucet uh enclosure fiberglass enclosure look that more like a brooklyn style enclosure and this is a huge walk-in closet. Now this, this one, I didn't see another one. So you're actually sharing this closet. It's different than the Elliott. So this one, you're, you're, everything's all in one. So really what you could do is you can make a line right here and your spouse or whoever you're living with cannot cross that line. So that's a big deal, right? <laughs> I'm just playing. So depending on who has the more shoes and who draws the, the straws, who has the bigger straw, right? Um, Usually is the one that gets the pretty good size for two people. You have your private toilet here. So I really, I like the floor plan. I'm not in love with the floor plan. I do like it. It's a Lennar home. Very good size. Let's go look at the other side. So we've now seen the next gen area. We've seen the primary bedroom. Heading over here, we always talk about the soft closed doors. That helps right there with the sound. They have them pretty much throughout. You can see them up there above the door. Coming over here, you have your washer dryer set up. Nice area for, you can, there's your attic up there. You can see it right there at the ceiling, right in the washer dryer area. You also have your smart hookup. Washer dryer does come with the house. You can put cabinets in here. And potentially, if you have a sewer line, which they typically do, you can get a, a sink put in, right? Um, so you just have to find out from the builder if there a sewer line coming from here so you can add in, in a sink. So here's your other bedroom, very similar to what we saw at the Elliott, another 10 by 12 room, pretty good size room. Nine foot ceilings on, on the second level here. I do like what's out here. You can see that this is where the mountains are at. This is a great mountain view if you can see this but it's great to open up and look at that. You have a walk-in closet here. Pretty deep walk-in closet too, if I might have to say. So coming back, we have a bathroom here that is going to have dual sinks, quartz countertop. You have different style tile. This will be depending on what you do at the design center, right? Chrome, you have your, for your faucet head, fiberglass combination, shower and tub. Brooklyn style enclosure style to it. Pretty good size, uh, 
pretty good size ba bathroom. You know, I don't, I don't think it's too crazy, but it's, it's good size. And coming in here, you have your other bedroom. So this is, they made this into like, if you have kids, that's a great bunk. Matter of fact, if, if I had young kids, I would get something like that. That's pretty neat. I really like how that set, they set that up. But again, it comes out to you. If you roll up these um, blinds here, you see the view of the mountains. You can see everything that's going on out there. Just a beautiful view to look out every morning. Another walk-in closet here that you can see. Another room here that's going to be, this one seems pretty good size. It's probably 10 by 12 again, so pretty consistent. And, uh, you know, I've seen smaller uh, rooms here. Uh, not, not at Lennar, but in, build, in builders in general. You know, they're trying to squeeze five bedrooms into a 2,000 square foot home. You know, it just gets a little bit congested. Honeywell thermostat. Um, so there you go. It's pretty much it. Here's the loft again. You know, so going back into the next gen room, which goes out to the garage. One thing I want to say is that I do like how it's connected. You know, you have two areas, so you really you can, like I said, you can come through here. This is considered the next gen room here. And you won't even have to bother anybody. Somebody's gonna go in that area, never see whoever lives on this side of the next gen home. So I love it. You know, I love how it's set up. You can literally have somebody rent this out if you wanted to. You can have family over whatever it is, or you can have your, your parents, your kids going to college, whatever. You want that privacy, this is the next gen area home that you want to look at. Taco Tuesday. So you got Monday, grilled chicken salad, Tuesdays, tacos, Wednesdays, uh, pesto, pasta, salmon, order pizza on Friday. Absolutely. Garlic, butter, steak, and eggplant parmesan. Can't go wrong with that schedule. You know, so going back into the next gen room, which goes out to the garage, one thing I want to say is that I do like how it's connected. You know, you have two areas, so you really you can, like I said, you can come through here. This is considered the next gen room here. And you won't even have to bother anybody. Somebody's going to go in that area, never see whoever lives on this side of the next gen home. So I love it. You know, I love how it's set up. You can literally have somebody rent this out if you wanted to you can have family over whatever it is or you can have your, your parents your kids going to college whatever you want that privacy this is the next gen area home that you want to look at taco tuesday so you got monday grilled chicken salad tuesdays tacos wednesdays uh, pesto pasta salmon order pizza on friday absolutely garlic butter steak and eggplant parmesan can't go wrong with that schedule All right, folks, we're done here. So we're out here seeing the Diana and uh, beautiful home, next gen home. You, you lose some things that the Elliott, which is a really nice home. I still like it better. It's hard. It's, it's a very hard decision if you're going to come here and buy a house. Uh, we'll have the price point in there. You know, you look at uh, HOA, $45, $100 uh, master plan community fee, and then SID fee, which is going to be about $7,000 a year, um, $350 roughly in every six months so it's a great home to start with if you guys are looking you have family like i said you have any anybody out there that looks or needs to have uh, an extra room maybe for parents uh, maybe for that the person that's going to college uh, anything um, so if that's it this is the diana if you guys have any questions about anything going on with this house or you need a realtor out here to roll up their sleeves work hard for you Proppy land, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Dan French, Show Vegas Realty, and we will see you guys at the next one.